It has been 500 years since the members of this sinister clan committed their bloody crimes, and their name still evokes light awe. Cardinal Rodrigo is a murderer, a voluptuary, a sinner who ascended the papal throne under the name of Alexander VI. His son Cesare, driven by a lust for power, who killed anyone who got in his way and had a forbidden passion for his own sister. Lucrezia, Rodrigo's daughter, is a poisoner and adulteress who has sullied herself with an incestuous relationship not only with her brother Cesare, but also with her own father. Today we will talk about Lucrezia Borgia, the chief sinner of the Renaissance. Before we begin, I would like to ask you to subscribe, to support my little channel. This is a channel of learning the world. Let's go! Lucrezia Borgia, born April 18, 1480, was the daughter of Cardinal Rodrigo Borgia, future Pope Alexander VI, and his mistress Vanazza, Giovanna, de Catania. Lucrezia had two older brothers, Giovanni, Juan, and Cesare, and a younger brother, Geoffrey. Her father paid attention to all the children, but it was with Lucrezia that he had a special bond. This relationship was considered unnatural and even incestuous by sarcastic critics of the Borgia family. The Pope appointed Lucrezia governor of the two cities of Spoleto and Foligno, which was simply unthinkable, for only a cardinal could rule the cities. But Lucrezia did not fail. Thanks to her diplomatic talent, she put an end to Spoleto's enmity with the city of Terni. She had been her father's secretary for a long time and was not only literate, but also very calculating in public affairs. Lucretia arrived in Spoleto pregnant, but immediately took up the cause, reviewing pardons, sorting out complaints, and meeting with prominent citizens to make sense of the city's situation. From the municipal funds, Lucrezia ordered money for a horse guard for the inner guard, and appointed the secretary of the city sealkeeper as her representative in settling minor disputes between the inhabitants. Lucrezia was barely 11 years old when she became a bargaining chip in the political games of her father Rodrigo and brother Cesare. Wanting an alliance with Spain, they negotiated a marriage contract between Lucretia and the lord of the Val Diagora in Valencia. Lucretia was given a dowry of 100,000 ducats. But two months later the contract was mysteriously cancelled without explanation. Historians believe that Rodrigo instigated the breaking of the contract because he preferred another marriage for his daughter that better suited his dynastic ambitions. He then entered into a marriage contract with another Spaniard, 15-year-old Don Gaspar, son of the Count of Aversa in the Kingdom of Naples. It was annulled in the same year because Rodrigo Borgia decided to ally himself with the Sforza family in Milan. It was a better alliance for them. The vain, well-educated Giovanni Sforza, a man of violent character, was chosen as the future groom. In addition to his personal qualities, he was also the son of the governor of Milan, which greatly influenced his leadership of the list of suitors. The marriage was not a successful one. Giovanni feared that Cesare Borgia would soon wish to do away with him as well, and Lucrezia's father was not entirely pleased with the benefits of her marriage. The marriage was annulled because Lucrezia declared Giovanni incapable of being her true husband in bed. He even signed an act confirming his impotence, but is known to have done so under pressure from his family, who also wanted to get rid of the conniving Borgias. Lucrezia's second husband was Alfonso of Aragon. This marriage too was political and did not last long. On the evening of July 15, 1500, when Alfonso was returning to the Vatican, he was attacked by assassins, they wounded him but did not kill him. Lucrezia cared for her husband, brought in doctors and organized armed guards. Moreover, she even cooked food for fear that someone might poison Alfonso. But the spouse was not spared. On August 18, while Alfonso was still recovering from his wounds, Cesare came to his room with mercenaries and ordered one of them to strangle Lucrezia's husband. It is said that he had two reasons for doing this, he and Rodrigo Borgia needed Lucrezia's new marriage for political reasons, and he was also very jealous of his sister for the handsome new husband she had fallen in love with. Lucrezia was inconsolable. Her father and brother decided that a new politically advantageous marriage would help set things right. They wanted to marry her off to Alfonso d'Este, but his family was against the union. They even sent a spy to the Borgio house and only agreed to the wedding after he reported that half of the dirty rumors about Lucrezia, about her promiscuity, greed, and cruelty, were untrue. The other half, apparently, did not look so terrible as to prevent this marriage. 
The marriage with Alfonso Des took place, children were born in the marriage, but Lucretia did not become happy. June 14, 1519, after childbirth, she just gave birth to her eighth child, she developed a debilitating fever. Some try to defend Lucrezia Borgia and her father against accusations of incest, but the Pope himself acknowledged the connection. In a secret bull for September 1502, Rodrigo Borgia assumed the paternity of his child with Lucrezia. Before this, subjects believed that it was likely that Lucrezia had given birth to her brother Cesare, with whom she was definitely intimate. On Lucrezia's tomb was carved the inscription here rests Lucrezia Borgia, daughter, daughter-in-law and wife of Pope Alexander VI. Either this is her inimitable humor, making fun of rumors even from the other side of the world, or an admission of real fact. That's it for me. If you liked the video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe. Bye everyone.